What's up, everyone? Welcome back. Today is December 1st, 2022. In today's video, we're going to talk about the death of Christine McVie, a singer and songwriter from the band Fleetwood Mac, actually one of my favorite bands of all time. It's been a couple days since I've done some blog posts. Had to jump off the hamster wheel of numerology for a little bit. I tend to get a little dizzy on there. Um, but in this video, we're going to talk about one of the new features I've been working on for the website, which is the Brown Lunation number and some cool eclipse functions that we'll be implementing for uh, paying members over the next few days. In this video, we're, talk we're going to talk about the numerology and astrology of the passing of Christine McVie. Christine died on November 30th. And people who follow this channel may recognize November 30th as a very significant date. Down in the description below, you'll find a link to my blog post on the number 1331 and why 1331 is truly the ultimate eclipse number. This cipher called Latin Gematria, which I teach in virtually every video, is essential to this code. And this whole cipher seems to be built around this eclipse. Now, in the year 1331, the only total solar eclipse fell on the date November 30th. And notice how both 1331 eclipse and November 30th sum to 1331. Of course, that's just scratching the surface of this code. This post dives deep and explains everything about 1331 and why this number is connected to eclipses. So please check that out if you haven't already. And then we're going to talk about why Christine McVie passed away on November 30th, this big eclipse date. First, let's start with the phrase eclipse of the sun, which has an alphabetic order value of 177. This cipher, the most basic in the study, numbers the standard alphabetic order 1 through 26, each letter relative to its position. Eclipse of the Sun 177. Well, in multiple other methods, precisely Latin and reverse Sumerian, the name Christine Ann McVie, her full name, has gematria of 1177 and 1770. This 177 is also found in the gematria of John McVie, whom Christine was married to in the early years of the band Fleetwood Mac. But this is where it gets overwhelming already. In Latin Gematria, Eclipse of the Sun sums to 691. Christine's death fell exactly 691 years after the 1331 eclipse that fell on the same date. 691 is a revered number, not only because it's the value of this phrase, but also the word masonry Masonry sums to 691 in this same method. And we're going to talk about how the numerology of masonry is central to this whole riddle. The full name of Freemasonry is the Ancient and Accepted Scottish Rite of Freemasonry. And notice the value in this Latin method, 1911. And of course, in this number, we have 911, which will be a focus of this video for a number of reasons, the 9-11 attacks being one of them. Back in the year 1998 is the year that Fleetwood Mac was inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Now, 1998 is a really cool number because this is 666 times 3. I might talk about that a little bit more later, but look how old Christine McVie was on the date of their induction to the Hall of Fame. She was 19,908 days, so the digits 1998, and this was in the year 1998. Measuring from that induction to her death was 9,089 days later. So their induction back in 1998 all connected to Christine McVie. And if you measure from the date of that induction to the 9-11 attacks, it was 191 weeks in one day, like the digits 1911. In Greek isopsophy, total eclipse equals 911. These are the same digits as Society of Jesus, which sums to 191 ordinal, 
whose emblem is reminiscent of a solar eclipse, the Society of Jesus, also known as the Jesuit Order, is essentially the Masonic branch of the Catholic Church. Been around for a long time. The name Christine Ann McVie also has this 191 value syncing up with the Society of Jesus. In Latin gematria, Christine McVie equals 1091, which connects to the Latin ordinal sum of total solar eclipse 191. So all the way from her induction to her death here in 2022, heavily by this eclipse code, but we're also going to talk about some more solar eclipses, a bit more contemporary. As we always do, we'll mention the two great American total solar eclipses that create an X over the United States. One of these eclipses back in 2017. The next eclipse falling in the year 2024. However, it's not just these two eclipses stamping an X over the U.S. At the exact midway point of these two solar eclipses was this total solar eclipse over the country of Argentina is where greatest eclipse occurred. And this eclipse was on December 14th of 2020. Again, exactly halfway between these two eclipses. And this was a very significant eclipse. On this same date, December 14th, 2020, this is when the FDA first approved the COVID-19 vaccine. We'll talk more about this as we go. But think about the year 2024, connecting to this next eclipse. When you write out the Society of Jesus, notice how you get this value, 224. Measuring to Christine McVie's next birthday, we find that her death fell 224 days before that birthday. Fleetwood Mac's debut album was even released on 224, February 24th. Now, what's interesting is that this is the only Fleetwood Mac album that did not have any involvement from Christine McVie. And this is the only album that we'll touch on throughout the course of this video. But the true riddle of this death revolves around her last name, which at birth was perfect prior to marrying John McVie. Now, this always stands out because in numerology, there is something called perfect numbers. And there's only a handful of them. The first one being six. And what's interesting about six is when you go from the first great American eclipse, August 21st, 2017, and then you add six years, six months, six weeks, and six days, you get to the date of the second eclipse, 6666. And again, in numerology, six is the first perfect number. I accidentally closed my calculator here, so got to get this back here. So the number six, the first perfect number. And what is a perfect number? Well, a perfect number is one whose divisors sum to itself. So the three numbers that can be multiplied into the, the number six are one, two, and three. And one plus two plus three is six. The second perfect number is 28. The divisors, 1, 2, 4, 7, and 14, all add to 28. However, the third perfect number is 496. And if you measure from the death of Christine McVie to the date of the 2024 total solar eclipse, she died exactly 496 days before it. Now, how about this? We talked about the number 28 being a perfect number. Well, on the date she died, her husband, John McVie, or ex-husband, was 28,128 days old. Not only is the number 28 in here twice, 
But the fourth perfect number is 8,128, 8,128, another perfect number. Seen right here in the digits, measuring from John McVie's birth to his ex-wife's death. In fact, John McVie and Christine McVie were born 28 months apart. And November 30th, when Christine McVie died, was 280 days after the anniversary of Fleetwood Mac's debut on 224. But how about this? On the date of this 2020 eclipse, the halfway point of the two great American eclipses, Christine McVie was 28,280 days old. And in the ancient Hebrew language, the phrase for total solar eclipse equals 280. And it's no surprise that perfect numbers are being used in a story about ritual sacrifice. Notice how the phrase perfect number sums to 616 in Latin gematria. This is the same as ritual sacrifice. In reduction, ritual sacrifice is 73. So is the word perfect. Perfect is 73. The word sacrifice, also 73. Perfect numbers coded all into this eclipse sacrifice. But we're not even close to being done yet. Talking about this ancient Hebrew language where we get this 280 value. Of course, the sun, the moon, the orbit of the moon, this is all mathematical perfection. And the elite, the occult in control, they understand that there is a creator who's responsible for all of this, which is why they pay such close attention to this code. So the phrases total eclipse and solar eclipse both equal 83. The date of Christine McVie's death had primary numerology of 83, 11 plus 30 plus 20 plus 22. 83 also happens to be the reverse value of murder. Murder summing to 83. Notice also how murder sums to 79 using the alphabetic order. And this is the age that Christine McVie was at when she died. However, 79 is also the reduction value of eclipse sacrifice. The reduction cipher, of course, using the rules of numerology to reduce each double digit number to a single digit prior to adding it to the equation. So we get the 79 syncing up with her age. In reverse, notice the 101 eclipse sacrifice. The name Christine Ann McVie sums to 101. Think about this in relation to masonry, which we led the video off talking about. The 101, representative of the two Masonic pillars. Her husband, John McVie, was born on a date with 101 numerology. And if you measure from the date of the first Great American Eclipse, August 21st, to the date of her death, it was 101 days. Now, why is this first eclipse so significant, August 21st? Well, August 21st is the date written 821 on our calendar. And using the Satanic Cipher, one of my favorite ciphers, which is centered around the number 666, Satanic Gematria summing to 666, the 36th triangular number. The name Christine Ann McVie has a value of 821. 821 is what we call a prime number, divisible only by one and itself. And here we see 821 is the 142nd prime number. This number 142 is the ordinal value of Eclipse Sacrifice, 142. Not only did Christine McVie die a span of 142 days after her birthday, but she was also 4,142 weeks old. Her death fell a span of 142 days before the next solar eclipse. And speaking of the number 142, 142 was the sorrow series that the 2020 vaccine eclipse belonged to. 
here we see this special Argentinian eclipse, Saros 142, as verified by trusty Wikipedia here. And this is pretty incredible because if you measure from that eclipse to the date of her death, it's 102 weeks and two days. Well, 122 is the ordinal value of Fleetwood Mac. 122. Now, in reverse, Fleetwood Mac equals 202. Well, 202 is the sum of total solar eclipse, 202. And this total solar eclipse was from the year 2020. Remember, that was the year we got the coronavirus pandemic, which equals 220, caused by orthocoronavirinae, 220. And then it was Donald John Trump, who, who has the 220. He launched Operation Warp Speed to get us the vaccine. Operation Warp Speed 220. And as we reviewed earlier, Rock and Roll Hall of Fame sums to 202 when spelled correctly. So we've talked a lot about eclipses. And, of course, what, what covers the sun during an eclipse is the moon. This brings us to the next part of this post, which talks about how Christine McVie was connected to the moon very strongly. We begin with her birth numerology. Notice how she was born on a date with numerology of 36 and 27. These are the two numbers found in the reduction value of the moon. The moon equals 36 and 27. The most significant cycle of the moon is the metonic cycle, which is a period of just about exactly 19 years. And in this 19 years, there's 254 sidereal months, or lunar orbits, and very interestingly, they took the number 254 out of the Wikipedia page recently for some reason. I tried adding it back in, but they took it back out. But you can verify this for yourself. It's 19 plus 235, the number of lunar phases. So 254 and the moon. Well, Christine McVie was born with the name Christine Perfect, which equals 254 in the reverse alphabetic order. Notice how Christine McVie was born during lunation 254. This is called the Brown Lunation Number, which began in 1923. Notice how Christine McVie was born 254 weeks before Stevie Nicks, who was the other female singer from the band Fleetwood Mac. And what I didn't even notice is that Christine Perfect also equals 178. Well, that's perfect because she was born 1,780 days before Stevie Nicks. Notice how the moon equals 178 with capital letters. Moon equals 178 with prime numbers. Christine McVie died a span of 178 days before Stevie Nicks' next birthday. By the way, this is also... Let's see. Uh, this is also... Five months and 26 days. And Stevie Nicks was born on 526. This number 254. Notice how John McVie was 254 months old when the debut album for Fleetwood Mac came out. John McVie was born during lunation number 283. And 283 is the Latin value for the moon. Finally, one last note about this 254, which was the sum of Christine Perfect. The 254th day of the year is September 11th, and we kicked this video off talking about how the induction of Fleetwood Mac was connected to 9-11. Well, measuring from the September 11th attacks to the death of Christine McVie, 
was 21 years and 80 days. And think about 21 slash 8, the date of the first great American eclipse. The word moon in Hebrew sums to 218. So does the word death in English, 218. And isn't it interesting that both perfect number and perfect have gematria connecting to 119 or an upside down 911? A big centerpiece of this whole Masonic eclipse riddle. And again, I've been talking about this 1331 eclipse code for almost five years on this channel. I think my first post was from January of 2018. This one from May of 2022 is a little more current has a little more information in it, but is absolutely required reading for anyone who's looking for more info on how this code of numerology, gematria, chronomancy, all connects. Wild stuff. All right, everyone. As always, this work is viewer supported. So, Please check the links in the description for more info on that. Stay tuned. We'll be running another super stream in a few days. Peace, love, God bless, and we'll talk to you next time. See ya.